So let's say that you have a body and you have taken this body at a height of h from the surface of the earth, okay? And then we need to find out the expression of this acceleration due to gravity. Perfect. Now let us say that we assume that this is, let us say, the center of the earth, okay? And let's say that this body is at some distance of, let's call it as h or let's call it as r dash. This is of course the radius. Let me draw it with some other color. So we know that this is the radius of the earth. So I can write it as r e. And this total distance what we have taken is r dash and it is at a height of h. No problem. Okay. Now we know that the mass of this body is small m. So the acceleration that is going to experience at this height is going to be some value of the acceleration which has to be different from the surface because it is not at the surface. So let's say that the value of acceleration due to gravity at this point is some value, let us call it as g e dash. Okay. What will be the force? I can write the force as m g e dash. Okay. Force is equals to mass times of acceleration. This is which force? This is the force due to gravitation for which we know the Newton's formula. Let's say the mass of the earth is m e. Okay. So we have g m e times mass of this body m divided by the total distance between these two points, right? That is r dash squared. No problem. What is the value of r dash? r dash can be written as the radius of the earth plus the height to which this body is placed. Okay, r dash is equal to r e plus h. Perfect. Now we also know that on the surface of the earth, if I have to write the formula of acceleration due to gravity, don't worry, I'll go very slowly. Okay, so you're going to understand everything. It might be possible that while you were in 11th standard and you were going through this topic, you might not have understood this properly, but don't worry about it. You're going to understand each and everything very closely. You just have to observe. So let us say at the surface of the earth, I say that the acceleration due to gravity is GE. And I know this formula of G. What is this formula of G? G is equal to G times mass of the earth divided by square of the radius of the earth, right? This is the acceleration due to gravity on the surface. Now, when you look at this expression, can I rewrite this as M G E dash is equal to G times of mass of the earth times the mass of this body divided by r dash can be written as r e plus h the whole squared. Can I write it like this? No problem. Can I cancel off this mass and this mass over here? Yes. Now, if you look at this expression and if you look at this expression, I want to express this in form of the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the earth. Then only I will be able to compare that whether it is more than on the surface of the earth or whether it is less, correct? Okay. So what we can write is, we can write g e dash is equal to g mass of the earth and in this denominator, can I take re square common and can I take it outside? So if I take re square outside, okay, what I'll be left with is 1 plus 1 plus h by re h by r e the whole square. This is what will be left with me, right? Perfect. Now you look at this expression. What is this? Why did I take this outside? Only to get me to this value where I can express this as the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the earth so that we can have a proper comparison. No problem. Okay. So I can write now that g e dash that is acceleration due to gravity at this point at a height h from the surface of the earth is equal to g e divided by 1 plus h by r e. This is what you get. All right. So now we have got an expression and this is one expression which is very, very important. This is our main expression of variation of acceleration due to gravity with height. Now, how will it vary? Understand this. Now think about this term, 
if the value of h goes on increasing then definitely the denominator will go on increasing and the value of g e dash will go on decreasing which means that as we move further away from the surface of the earth the value of acceleration due to gravity goes on decreasing yes one more time as we move away from the surface of the earth the value of acceleration due to gravity goes on decreasing yes no problem okay so again i'll i'll tell you what all things we did i told that okay let us say that there is a body of mass m which is at some height h away from the surface of the earth we told that initially let's take this is the center of the earth the total distance between this and this let's call it as r dash no problem why we did that because it's easier than to write the newton's formula of that is the gravitational formula so we wrote that at this point let us say the value of acceleration due to gravity is g dash we got mg dash is equal to g times mass of the earth times that is product of the two masses divided by square of the distance between them we also found out that the value of r dash is nothing but if i write the radius of the earth as r e so it will be equal to r e plus h no problem okay replacing that and taking r e square as common what we have got is that we can express this formula in terms of the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the earth so on the surface of the earth we have told that let's call this acceleration due to gravity as g and this is a notation that we'll keep on throughout okay so g will be our acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the earth then we replaced in the formula and we got it like this okay easy fine but sometimes what happens is there is another form of this formula when they mention something special like this they will tell you that this body is not at a very high distance away from the surface of the earth which means that when they are saying that the value of h can be taken as much much smaller than the radius of the earth okay then what will happen we'll get another result so it's just a special case the main formula remains this remember the main formula remains this only and i'm sure you have noted it down this is the main formula okay so if i modify that formula let's say for a bird which is uh, moving and is flying and i want to find out the value of acceleration due to gravity or the or the or the expression of acceleration due to gravity on this we know our main formula that is ge dash is equal to we have ge divided by 1 plus h by r e the whole square no problem okay we know this formula but if the condition is that this h is much much smaller than the radius of this earth okay that can have because let us say the bird is flying at a distance of a few hundred meters let us say 500 meters 700 meters when you compare that with the radius of the earth that value is really less right so we need for this kind of a special case a special result that's it how do we get to that result that is very very important so can i rewrite this ge dash is equal to ge times of 1 plus h by r e whole to the power of minus 2 can i write it like that no problem now you see it's all now a game of mathematics it's all now maths but don't worry i'll tell you what we are doing so you have a expansion called as binomial expansion so when you have an expression like this 1 plus x to the power of let's say minus n this can be written as 1 minus nx given the condition that the value of x is much much lesser than 1 all right if this condition is valid then we can write this expression as 1 minus nx okay this is called as binomial expansion just remember this as a result as a formula okay we need not go into the details of this how we are getting it and all that what i am telling you is that when you have an expression like 1 plus x to the power of minus n and this can be written as 1 minus nx not every time only when the value of x is much much lesser than 1 now let's see that can we use this result 
in this formula or not. That is very important, right? Now, when you look at this expression and we have this condition that h is much, much lesser than re. So, this plays now the role of x, isn't it? This plays now the role of x. So, you have now the expression of 1 plus x to the power of minus n. Okay, you have now the same function in this form, correct? Now, think about this value of h by re. If the value of h is really small in comparison to the radius of the earth, then the net value that you are going to get will be much, much lesser than 1, which means this formula can be applied, which means that I can write, I can write this as g e dash is equal to g e times of, this can be rewritten as 1 minus n x, 1 minus n, what is the value of n? 2 and instead of x, what we are going to write? h by so, this is nothing but a refined formula. This is nothing but a refined formula for the case when h is much, much smaller than the radius of the earth, the acceleration due to gravity at a height h will be given by g e dash, which is equal to the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the earth times 1 minus 2 h by radius of the earth. All right. But remember, whenever you are applying this formula, this condition must be valid. So they must tell you in the question itself that this is, this is very, very close. Or even by comparison, you see a few hundred meters is the value of h and the radius of the earth is quite large in comparison to that. That is how you are going to take a call, which formula should you go for with, okay? Other than that, if nothing is there, if they are comparable, if the distances are comparable, then go with this master formula, the main formula. That is g dash, g dash is equal to g by 1 plus h by re, the whole square. No problem. Okay. So, I told you all the scenarios, right? So, this, this result can have two different variation. One is the general formula. Another is the special case. What is more important is to remember the special case and for this special case we are just using binomial expansion wherein we'll get a, a series like this and the, the term, the higher order terms are actually neglected but we are not going into too much of mathematics. We are just saying that whenever you get an expression like this, it can be rewritten as 1 minus nx given the condition that x is much much less than 1 and since this condition was satisfied by the expression that we have got, that is why we represented it in this form, okay? So two forms of the same formula, but given that there is a condition. So whenever you apply this formula, be extra careful, all right? So you can put a star mark, write a small note to it that this formula should be only applied when this condition is true. When this condition is true, only then you're supposed to use this formula. So now I'm sure that you have got a nick of the expressions that we are going to get in case when a body is above the, above the earth's surface and it is at, at some height h or l whatever they gave you in the question.